There appears to be a common myth when you divorce, the decree absolute ends not only the proceedings but the financial claims. This is not the case. My name is Joanne Agate and I am an associate within the family department at WBW Solicitors. When you marry, you become financially obligated to one another. That obligation exists beyond divorce so that either of you can make a claim against the other for financial relief. Within divorce proceedings, whichever fact is relied upon, whether adultery, behaviour, two years desertion, two years separation with consent or five years separation, it is open to the court to consider financial claims arising from the marriage. Financial claims can take a variety of forms, capital claims such as lump sum, property adjustment, income claims known as spousal maintenance or periodical payments and orders against pensions to allow sharing of the pension asset. The court can approve a financial agreement or impose a financial order after contested proceedings. Any orders can only be made after decree NISI has been granted and that is usually about two thirds the way through the divorce process. Although orders can be made after decree NISI, they only take effect from decree absolute which brings the marriage to an end. There is a need for transparency when dealing with finances and the court will expect there to be what is known as full and frank financial disclosure. This means that each party provides full financial information to the other so that the whole financial position is known. Even where agreement can be reached and the terms of an order made by consent, the court will still require what is known as a statement of information to be completed and signed as a statement of truth before considering making an order. Wherever possible, the court wished to end financial obligations which began upon marriage and the court have discretion in each case to consider whether the case is suitable for a clean break. A clean break means that there can be no further claims arising from the marriage during joint lives or against the other's estate upon death. Here at WBW the family team can assist you in either incorporating the terms of the agreement into an agreed order or representing you through contested proceedings. For further information or to book an appointment, please contact me, Joanne Haggett.